skills you're going to need. You're going to need to be handy with a soldering iron, have a pretty basic understanding of how electricity and batteries work, and especially how are these going to pertain to the wires and the suits. Now, if you need a little refresher, just check out our supplementary video uh, that you can see linked below, and that will kind of give you a refresher over how to solder, how to wire things properly, and how to avoid some common mistakes. Um, so what we did is uh, we took the white wire to um, give it the illusion that it's you know essentially a skeleton or a bone. Um, we had to be aware of of not putting it. We originally wanted to have it on the front and the back, but then thought it would you know crunch up here and create puncture points and then would you know not work. So did along the side here on both both sides. We did some ribs along here and. Um, yeah, you know, also didn't want to do any sharp points because that's what, you know, causes the puncture and the, the break in the line, which is just a pain. So one thing you guys should all remember is, is when wiring the suit, um, what we did is, is we wanted to, to hide the orange wire and, and, and not be able to see where it came from. So we decided to go on the inside of the suit, you know, making small incisions here and flipping it around so it creates this surround heart kind of effect. Um, be careful about how close you get to the zipper because the zipper is very important. And so what we did is rather than coming across here, we came up over the shoulder from back here, down looped it, came around, and then looped back around up, back around here. From the in and this is all on the inside. And then came down, looped, came around and ended it just Alright, so what we're trying to do here is sew down the entire length of the electrical wire to, uh, to the suit um, and that way it becomes completely attached instead of being raised like this. And so when he pulls it on and off it'll be one nice cohesive unit and it should work a lot better when he's doing a lot of moving around. problem with the suit one of the um, one of the controllers got slammed in a car door and so we kind of had to replace it and we just wanted to go over some good ways to kind of troubleshoot and diagnose what's going on with the suit now some of these buttons were broken here and so what we're going to want to do is replace this whole this whole interface this module here and before we clip the wires and restart you're going to want to tag which one is your lead power in this will save you a lot of trouble memorizing what color is which or anything like that so once you have your power marked like so with this handy masking tape, go ahead and clip your wires and we're going to head and to uh, re-solder them to here and hopefully that will get it working again. Alright, so we're having a few problems and um, what you try to do when you encounter a problem with electrical wire is reduce it to its uh, basic elements and try and eliminate all these different variables so you know you're playing around with, uh, you know, it's either this connection or it's this button. You know, you don't want a whole bunch of things that are 
kind of unknowns. And so what we've did is we've tried all the different connections with our different pieces and just going for bare wire down to here and seeing if we can make it light up. Hey everybody, uh, this is essentially the dance suit. Um, so I've showed you how to lay the wire and kind of the steps to go to take to to lay lay the buttons and, and, and all of that and the switches. So we have our, our switches on this arm. So this here is is the wire leading up to the to the switches on my right arm. As you saw previously, they do run the inside of the suit. And then here, if I put my hand in, these are these are the switches. And as I push one, one is connected to one color, one is the other, and it keeps it on in a steady rate. So when they're all on, yeah. then they're all on. Here is the left arm. Hello. And on the inside, we have the same same sort of wires on the inside there, leading up to these buttons delayed here. It's, it's kind of difficult to see. Here's essentially one of the buttons. Uh, we have three buttons for each color uh, leading up, and as I when I push them down, it turns them on. So essentially, it allows me to blink them to the rhythm. Like that. So these th these switches enable me to turn one of them on and switch the rest, however I see fit, or turn them all on and leave them on and continue dancing. On the back here, we have a fanny pack. Just coincidentally black, probably helps your cause. And this here holds the battery pack, the 8AA battery inverter that we used. Some people will will usually get a 9 volt battery, but that will probably, you, you want to get 8AA's, it lasts longer as well as it's brighter. Um, and the inverter is in here as well, so these kind of allow for this to be connected 